Guys, I want to read you a little story about brotherly love. We think about it's necessary that we do our best to absolutely love one another. And I'm going to read this story from the Garden of Education. This is uh, by Shalom Arush. And really fantastic story about uh, brotherly love. And uh, take about two minutes, and I just want to read it to you because I think it's uh, very impactful. At least it was for me. So Jacob loved all of his sons, of course. He's very grieved whenever he finds out that there's some tension among them. So he sits them all down and he tells them this story. In a certain village lived two brothers who loved each other very much. The father had given each of them a field as a source of income. One of them was successful and became very rich, though he had no children to his great sorrow. The other did not succeed financially and was destitute, but was blessed with a large family. One night, the poor brother awoke from his sleep and started to think about how hard it must be for his rich brother to not have any children. He said to himself, I may be destitute, but thank God I have children who bring me such joy. But my poor brother, since he has no children to gladden his heart, what can make him happy? He thought about what he could do to cheer him up and decided, I will take some of my grain each night and add it to his. Perhaps the additional blessing and wealth will comfort him. And so the poor brother began to get up every night and take half of the grain that he had harvested that day to his brother's field. On the same night, the wealthy brother had also awoken from his sleep and had contemplated the plight of his destitute brother. He said in his heart, I am so rich, but I don't have any children to provide for, and my poor brother is so much in need of money. I will take some of my grain harvest every night and add it to his. He also started to take half of his grain, everything that he had harvested that day, and put it to his brother's field. For quite a while, each brother brought the other half of his daily harvest. Since both of them were unaware of each other's actions, Neither of them understood that the next day, how was their grain not diminished, despite the fact that they had given half of their grain away the night before. One night, the poor brother decided to stay awake all night in his field and discover what was happening. The rich brother decided to do the same. In the dark of the night, the two brothers met and immediately understood what each other had been doing. They fell on each other's necks and cried with great emotion. When Hashem saw this beautiful sight, he decided this place where there was so much brotherly love would be the place where his divine presence would rest. This is the place where the holy temple was subsequently built. At the very same time, a completely opposite tale was taking place in another location. There were also two brothers one rich without children, and one poor with a large family. The difference was that there, the brothers had a bitter hate for one another. On the same night that the other brothers had awakened, these two brothers had also awoken from their slumber and had started thinking about one another. The poor brother thought to himself, My rich brother, what does he need all his wealth for? Does he have any children to support? He decided to go each night and steal some of his brother's grain. The rich brother said to himself, It's enough for my brother that he is so blessed with children. It's not fair that he should have wealth as well. So he too decided that he would go each night and steal some grain from his brother's field. This occurred a few times until the poor brother decided that he would wait in ambush for the thief. The rich brother had the same idea. The brothers met in the dark of night, understood what had been happening, and viciously attacked one another. When Hashem saw this terrible thing, he decided to remove his presence from that place. On that very site, a temple for idol worship was built, which spread hatred, intolerance, and conflict in the world. You see, the 12 sons of Jacob were spellbound when he told them the story, as I think I was when I first read it. They looked at the ground, ashamed of how they were acting to each other, and Jacob concluded, It all depends on you, my beloved sons. If you emulate the second pair of brothers and are inconsiderate, argue, and fight, then 
Hashem will remove his presence from our homes and they'll become places of conflict and misery, God forbid. If we want the divine presence to dwell in our home, then you must emulate the first pair of brothers. We need to think with love and compassionate about everyone, especially our own family members. When Hashem sees us behaving like him with love and compassion, he'll bestow his holy presence in our homes and it will be a true Mikdash Mahat, a miniature holy temple. May it be so for all of us. Have a great week.